Okay, Bruce, well, mate, it's good to have you in the organization, and um, hopefully something will open up for you soon at a higher level. Okay, mate, well, I've got to go. I'm getting another call. Okay, bye. Hello? Speaking. Department of Homeland Security. Look, mate, I'm going to get my visa when I have a chance, okay? Oh, you found two Dominicans hiding at the club. Well, where were they? On the injured list. Well, that's no good, mate. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of this immediately. All right. No, mate, no, don't worry about my uh, visa. No, you're going to have to check. Take my word for it. I've got one. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome to episode two here at the New York Yankees. It's American Heroes, where we will try and win the World Series with the Yankees with only American players, as we attempt to make them America's team, and a team that everybody doesn't necessarily hate unless you're a Yankees fan. Now, since last episode, we should say today, we're going to actually play some baseball. It's opening day. We are playing Toronto, uh, one of our, my former teams, of course, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, so it'll be interesting to see some of those names again. Um, but yeah, we're going to play some baseball today, but... As you heard there, we had it brought to my attention that there were two uh, two non-American players on the injured list. Uh, one of them was Angela. The other is Severino. Now, he is more seriously injured. We can't trade him away just yet because of that injury. Um, but we have done some trades. Now, we've done two trades since uh, since last episode's Trade-a-thon. Uh, the first one here, obviously, Angela had to leave. So in place of him... We got Nico Horner from the Cubs. Now, I I think he's going to actually end up coming in and replacing Wade in the uh, on the active roster. He can cover most of the most of the infield. He can play a bit of center field for us as well. A decent bat, no power, but he'll be a decent uh, decent sort of maybe early in the order sort of man. Um, so yeah, I think he will find his way into the major league team. And course, unfortunately, because I have just made the trade uh, sort of this game day, I can't call him up today. Uh, so he won't be taking part in the opening day festivities, but I suspect in the new, uh, the near future even, that he will uh, he will be a part of what we do going forward. So that's uh, that's who we got into a place and Jeweler. Now the other trade that we did involved getting rid of Brett DeGoose. Now the reason we had to do this is because he, he, for some reason, he had to be in the major league team in the in the on the active roster. Uh, and whilst I do think there is a good player there for us in the future, I mean he's only ever played high A, he played it well, and he is probably good enough. But I didn't, I didn't necessarily want him to start the season. Now, of course, there's no spring training in the first season of the game for whatever reason. Um, so, annoyingly, I didn't really get a chance to see what he had. Uh, so, to so save a problem, we sent him off. Now, we sent him off, apparently, to the Dodgers. I forget where we traded him to. I thought we sent him to the Royals, anyway. We did send him to the Royals. And in return, they must have traded him on again. We got J.J. Blade, uh, a very, very potentially good outfielder. Uh, right field, left field. Maybe not a right fielder. Maybe the arm isn't quite there, but potentially a very, very consistent bat for us. Um, he hasn't played high enough to necessarily be in the in the starting uh, on the active roster, I should say, for this or certainly the start of the season. But uh, he's 23. I think maybe next season he might be ready. We've got him in Double A to start the year. Well, if he's doing well there, we'll push him up to Triple A. Um, and I think come next season, he's going to be a very, very good right fielder for us. I mean, we'll have a spot in the lineup uh, opening up at least one because Gardner at 37's contract is up. And I'd rather bring this guy in than to sort of persist with him for another year. So, yeah, that is the two trades that we've done. Now, of course, the other uh, foreign player we do, or non-American player, I should say, we still need to get rid of is Luis Severino. I don't, I mean, he's a, he's a very good pitcher. I don't think we'll have a problem getting rid of him, um, and we'll probably be able to get a good player uh, in for him, I would hope anyway. Uh, we'll have to wait for him to come back from his injury, uh, come off the injured list, and then we will look to trade him. He will not play a game for the Yankees. Um, yeah, we will need to get rid of him, obviously. Now, there was one loophole that was brought to my attention last episode, and that was uh, thanks to Old Lady Plays, and that was what do we do with Puerto Rican players, because I did say um, only players who are American citizens. Now, I'm doing my best to avoid a political incident in Football Manager with the whole island, Northern Ireland thing, um, so I don't really want to get involved in... <laughs> <laughs> in uh, USA Puerto Rico politics, um, it's what we're gonna. The rule is we're gonna have is American flag eligible to play for the or uh, declared, I guess, to play for the American national team because Puerto Rico, yes, they're American citizens, um, but they do have their own country in in baseball in baseball terms. It's sort of like uh, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Northern Ireland, I should say, in England and in and inside the UK in football. So um, yeah, so American flags, I will correct myself, not necessarily American citizens. American American United States of America 
qualified. You know what I mean. That's uh, that is the rule that we're going to have. Um, now that I think is everything caught up on. I don't know. Oh no, there's one other thing I did want to catch you up on, and that was involving staff. Bruce Crab is in the house. Um, we've got him here. We've got him in now. If you're not aware of Bruce Crab, he is baseball's greatest crustacean. Um, but yeah, so we've signed him. He's going to be managing Double A for us this year. But if 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 Boone makes one misstep as manager of this major league team, Boone will be out, Crab will be in, and it'll be a wonderful t wonderful day for us all. So uh, we do have Crab. You can see here, apart from myself, it is uh, U.S. flags all the way down in coaching staff as well. Um, it's not the best coaching staff in terms of reputation, but hopefully they will uh, they'll they'll improve themselves. We did get a bench coach in as well, a very very good one. Um I could not be happier with the, <laughs> the bench coach that's come in. So, yeah, everything is looking good. It's looking good. Uh let's go and check the well, actually let's have a look at meet the team. Uh now that we're sort of ready to go for the season, we're, we're fairly good. First base could use an upgrade, so could catcher and so should could center field. Uh, I think center field is actually my the one I'd like to upgrade next. Hicks is not the best defensively. Uh, and I don't think his bat is quite good enough to make up for that. So um, <clears throat> center field is probably the next position we want to look to upgrade. But generally speaking, everything there is good. And we have a look at team chemistry. We don't have any negative players. Uh, we could do with some more positive influences. But we do have most of the roles covered. We just need a captain uh, and maybe a few leaders and extra pranksters and whatnot in there. Um, but generally speaking, I'm quite happy with the team that we have. So let's go check these lineups for opening day against the Jays. And this is it. Thank you for people who are correcting my pronunciation of names. I will do my best to say it uh, correctly, but these matchups look good for us, don't they? So Lemma Hugh will uh, lead us off, play second base. Corey Sager will bat second at short. It is Aaron Judge in right field batting third. The designated hitter, Stanton, he bats uh, four. It is Luke Voigt at first base batting five. It is Aaron Hicks in center field batting seven. Austin Riley at third base bats seven. Uh, Clint Frazier in left field bats eight. Andrew Nape, the catcher, bats nine. It is Garrett Cole on the mound for us, and we're facing Rue. Now, if you were with me for the uh, for the Blue Jays series, you will know that Rue disappointed me horribly by having essentially a career-ending injury in his first start for us. Um, so anything short of a career-ending injury for him in this one, and I've got to say, I'll uh, I'll be annoyed at him. All right, and here we go. Cole to face Biggio for the first pitch or the first uh, batter of opening day. Um, I meant to show you the preseason predictions. God damn it. I'll try and remember to show you at the end. Uh, but we start with a strikeout. Excellent work there by Garrett Cole. And we'll go now against Gorel Jr. Junior Jr. as he was known in our time at the Jays. And there's another strikeout. Two from two. Wonderful stuff for Bo Bichette. And let's see what Bo has got for us. An 0-1 pitch. He grounded up the middle. That should be easy for Sega. No, no play for Corey Sega. And that is... Uh, that is a two-out single for Jerry Springer to come up to bat now. Not someone we had at the Blue Jays. And Bo has made the steal. He's a very, very good stealer as well, isn't he? And, uh, well, let's see what we can do. Can we end this with a 2-2 pitch? Yes, we can. And that's a very, very solid start for Garrett Cole. The ball never left the infield, and there were three strikeouts. Lima Hugh to lead us off. He's going to face Rue. A 2-0 pitch. And Lema Hugh has hit it. He's hit it really well. Has he sent it? He has! Lemma Hugh starts off the American Heroes series with a home run. The Yankees go 1-0 up. And, well, that's uh, that's one way to start a series, isn't it? Wonderful stuff. Corey Sager for his first at bat as a Yankee. A 2-2 pitch. And he grounds it. Is he going to be able to beat that out? He can! Wonderful stuff from Sager. Aaron Judge to the plate now. One on, no one out. Full count. Judge strikes out. Sega looks to steal. He gets there. Runner at second with one away for Giancarlo Stanton. Another full count. He grounds at the third. Sega will go back to second, and that is two away. In comes Luke Voigt for his first at bat of the season. A 1-0 pitch. And Voigt has grounded at the second, and that should do it. It will, but we've taken the lead thanks to Lemma Hughes' leadoff home run. Cole will face Tesco Hernandez. A 1-2 pitch. And Hernandez strikes out. That is four strikeouts from five batters. Wonderful stuff. Rowdy Tellez to the plate now. Oh, I miss Rowdy Tellez. He's popped that up, though. 
back in right field goes whoever's out there. I forget who's playing. Oh, Aaron Judge. Of course it is. And that is two away for Vlad. Why is Vlad Jr. batting at number seven? We'll take it. But Jesus. A 1-2 pitch, sorry. Vlad Jr. grounds at the third. And that'll do it for the Jays in the top of the second. And it will be Aaron Hicks to lead us off. Now, Aaron Hicks currently has 99 career doubles. Could he bring up number 100? Not with that, he's not. That's going to be out at first and one away. In comes Austin Riley. His first at bat as a Yankee. A 1-1 pitch. Austin Riley. Can he beat that out? It's to the shortstop. And he has it. We have a second infield hit of the game. Well, it's a one-out single for Austin Riley. Clint Frazier to the plate now. A 1-2 pitch on him. He pops it up. And I don't think that's going to get Austin Riley to second. And that'll be two away. And it will be Nape, the third and final of our first uh, first up or debutantes for the Yankees. Oh, Nape has absolutely crushed a full count. And it's going to score a run, I think. Is Austin Riley quick enough? He is coming around to score from first. And Nape, with his first at bat as a Yankee, gets an RBI double. Doubles our lead. It's 2-0. Lemma Hugh back to the plate. One for one with that home run, of course. A 1-1 one -oh, one -one pitch. And he's got it up the middle. And that might score another run. Lemma Hugh delivers a second RBI of the game with an RBI single. He finds himself at second on the throw to the plate. And it's 3-0. Corey Sager comes in. He's one for one today as well. A 2-2 pitch and Sager strikes out. That ends the second, but we are 3-0 up on opening day. Cole will face Semyon now. 2-2 pitch. Another strikeout for Garrett Cole. This guy is looking incredible. Five strikeouts. Denny Jansen to the plate now. He was always a good player for us at the Jays, and he gets a walk. And that is a one-out, one-on situation now for Biggio, who is uh, 0 for 1. Biggio pops it up, does he? Is It's Judge going back. It is going to stay in. Just for a second, I was worried it was drifting out, uh, out, of, the, out of the stadium, but it stayed in for Gorel Jr. now, who's 0 for 1. Two out, one on, a 1-2 pitch, and Gorel Jr. pops it up. It is Hicks out there in center field. That'll be uh, the end of the innings. It's still 3-0 to the Yankees. And it's Aaron Judge to lead us off. 0 for 1 today. A 2-2 pitch. And Judge just watches strike 3. And you know how much I love that. Just swing the bat. Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1 as well. A first pitch swing for him. Stanton gets it up the middle. And that'll be a 1-out single for our designated hitter. In will come Luke Voigt. Who's 0 for 1 today. A 2-2 pitch. He watches. Swing the bat. Swing the bat. You have it in your hands for a reason. Aaron Hicks with two out, one on. A 1-2 pitch. Hicks, has he hit it well enough? Left field's going back. It is going to stay in. And that'll end the third. And for the first time as Yankees managers, we haven't scored a run. And it is uh, Bo Bichette's a nice stat, isn't it? Bo Bichette, who's one for one. A 3-1. He gets a walk. That's the second time Cole has issued a walk now. Jerry Springer comes in. He's 0 for 1. A 2-2 pitch. He strikes out. One away. Bo Bichette still at first. Obviously a big threat of stealing. Tesco Hernandez comes in. Hernandez is that it's in foul territory. So Bo's not going anywhere either. Uh, in any case. And that is two away as we make the play. No matter what. Rowdy Tellez um, up to bat now. I can't talk. It's a 1-1 pitch. Tellez pops it up. That should be played out there in left field by Frazier. And that'll end the fourth. Still nothing for the Jays. Just the one hit. In comes Austin Riley to lead us off. He's one for one. Infield hit for him last time. A 1-2 pitch. And Riley strikes out. But at least he swung the bat. It brings Frazier up now. He's 0 for 1. A full count. Frazier. He strikes out. But again, <laughs> at least he swung the bat. For Nape. He hit the RBI double last time up. What can he do this time? It's a full count. Two out. No one on. Nape strikes out. And that ends the fourth. In comes Vlad Jr. to lead them off. 0 for 1 today he is. Garrett Cole with an 0-2 pitch. Grounded into the shift. Second base has it. Who's at second for us? Lemme Hugh, isn't it? I'll learn the players better as we go, obviously. Uh, one away for Semyon who comes in. Garrett Cole. An 0-2 pitch. Semyon goes down on three strikes. That is uh, another out, obviously. Two away. Jansen, who walked last time up. A full count this time. He pops it up. Voigt at first base should have that, and that'll do it for the fifth. Garrett Cole making it look very, very easy right now, isn't he? Lemma Hugh, who is two for two. Two RBIs as well. Can he keep it going? I don't think that's going to get the job done, and for the first time this season, he is out at first. In comes Corey Sager, who is one for two. A 1-0 pitch. An 0-1 pitch, sorry. 
ground ball to third and not the best throw, but gets the job done and that is two away. New pitcher now, Stephen Matz, formerly of the Matz, I believe. He's going to face Aaron Judge, who's over two. Come on, Judge, we want to see something from you. Judge pops it up. Second base, that's going to be Bo, isn't it? Go I know the, I feel like I know the Jays team better than I know the Yankees team. Anyway, in to goes the Jays to bat again against Cole. Is Biggio to lead them off? A 2-0 pitch. Biggio hits it well into left field. That's going to get to the fence. It should be at least a double. Hopefully, we can keep it just to that. He's going to try for third, and it's going to be a leadoff triple for Kevin Biggio. Not ideal. And it's going to be Junior coming in to face Garrett Cole. He's 0 for 2 today, an 0-1 pitch. Come on, Garrett. Gets the pop-up. Now, can Frazier prevent the run? He can. Excellent work. One away. Bo Bichette comes in now. He's 1 for 1 with a walk as well, I think. Bo straight back to the pitcher. Excellent stuff, and that is two away, and we have a way to get out of this innings now. Springer, who's 0 for 2, will face Cole. And that will do it. We've got a round, a leadoff triple, and that is not a bad effort at all from Garrett Cole. He looks absolute quality, doesn't he? Matts will face Stanton to lead us off. He's 1 for 2 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. Stanton watches strike 3. Swing, swing, swing. Voigt, who's 0 for 2, comes up now. Another 2-2 pitch. Voigt strikes out. And it is Hicks who is 0 for 2 now. Two out, no one on. A full count. Come on, Hicksy. He grounds at the shortstop. That'll do it for the sixth. It's still 3 nothing, but uh, it's turned into a pitcher's duel lately, hasn't it? Cole will face Tesco Hernandez, who's 0 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. Hernandez. That may not be staying in. That is very, very deep, and that is very, very gone. It's 3-1 in the top of the seventh. Tesco Hernandez sends it 366 feet over right field. And uh, Cole will now face Rowdy Tellez and hopefully get himself back on uh, back in song here. A 1-2 pitch. That's a ground ball into the shift. Second base has it. Lemahieu over to Voigt and that is one away. Vlad Jr. to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Another 1-2 pitch. And another strikeout. That's 8 now for Garrett Cole. Semi into the plate. He's 0 for 2 as well. Another 1-2 pitch. And another strikeout. Garrett Cole, take a bow, mate. We are stretching with a 3-1 lead. Our lead has been cut. But we're still in a decent position here. Austin Riley will lead us off. He's uh, one for two today. A 2-2 pitch. Austin Riley strikes out. And that's one away for Clint Frazier now, who is 0 for 2. Come on, mate. Get yourself on base. A 2-2 pitch. He watches strike three go past. Nate to the plate. He is one for two today. A first pitch swing. Nate. Hits it well. For the second time today, he hits it well out there into left center field. And that should be a second double. He's not quick enough for a triple, but a two-out double for Nate. And can Lemahieu drive in another run for today? That'll be his third if he manages to do it. He's two for three. It's a 2-1. And Nate has grounded at the shortstop. And that'll end the seventh. Still 3-1. And we'll go and have a pitch. Chad Green comes into the game. Chad Green, let's get to know our players. Uh, a very, very decent-looking uh, bullpen pitcher, isn't he? Hopefully, he's going to have a good day here for us. Let's see what he can do against Denny Jansen, who is one... It's a 1-1 one -one pitch, sorry. Denny Jansen grounds it to Lemma Hugh, and that is uh, that is one away. Back to the top of the order we go. Kevin Biggio, who hit a triple last time up. It's a 2-2 pitch. And Biggio watches strike three. That's two away for Gurel Jr., who is 0 for 3. Let's keep this O. Come on, Chad. Ground ball. Voigt has it. Green goes over to cover first, and that'll end the eighth. Let's go back for hopefully the last time. It's going to be Corey Sager to lead us off. He's one for three. Can we get some insurance runs here? A 2-2 pitch, and Sager strikes out. Aaron Judge now, who's 0 for three. Come on, mate. You can't go 0 for an opening day. A full count. Judge back up the middle, straight to the pitcher. Two away, and it's going to be Gwen, oh, Giancarlo sorry, Stanton to face Jordan Romano who was a little bit rubbish for us at the Jays. Let's see what Stanton can do with him. A 2-0 pitch. Stanton, he's popped it up, and that will do it for the eighth. It's going to be our closer, I would assume. Now, I've been told this is pronounced Cannibal. I don't know if that's because he eats batters, but um, Cannibal to the mound. 1-0 on Bo Bichette. That's a ground ball. That's going to be one away. We are two outs from opening day victory against the Jays. Jerry Springer comes in. He's 0-3. A full count. Oh, that's a walk. High and wide. 
runner goes to first. Tying run to the plate in the shape of Tesco Hernandez, who has already hit one home run today. It's a first pitch swing. Hernandez, he pops it up. Judge makes the play, and runner will stay at first. They're down to their final out. It's Rowdy Tellez. He is the tying run, of course. He's 0 for 3. It's a full count. Two out, and that will do it. No. The winning run, the go-ahead run, comes to the plate now, and it's Vlad Jr., not necessarily the man you'd want. Come on, Cannibal. A 2-0 pitch. Vlad Jr. gets it into right field. Is that going to pull one back? It is not, but it will load the bases with two out. I, I got sick of my bullpen at the Rockies throwing away games. Cannibal better not do the same thing. Semyon, 2-2 pitch. He's just building the tension, and that is opening day victory for the Yankees. So I think the star of today's game, it, well, other than Garrett Cole, who was quite good, but uh, Lemahue, I mean, what a way to start off the game with a home run. A second RBI of three as well. Really, really good stuff there and did well defensively as well. So very, very happy with that as a uh, performance for opening day. The other thing I did want to show you was uh, the preseason predictions. We are predicted to finish top of the division. Um, so that's obviously very, very nice ahead of the, the Rays, the Jays, the Red Sox, and the Orioles in a very, very distant uh, fifth spot there. In terms of how we're supposed to go, uh, Judge Stanton is supposed to be up there as is Voigt with the bat. Uh, we didn't really see too much from either, any of them. Stanton got a hit, didn't he? But we didn't see much from them at all today. And in terms of the pitches, Garrett Cole, who was absolutely stunning, is up there, as is uh, Talon. Talon, I'm not sure how you say that, but he's in the top uh, few, as is Snell. So we've got three hitters, three batters. If they all perform up to those numbers, then you should uh, imagine we're going to be very, very competitive this season. And if we have a look there, that is what's predicted of the National League this year. Uh, so that'll do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let me know what you think of uh, today's game and let me know how you think we'll get on this season. Um, it's definitely... Uh, I think we've definitely got a strong team. It's not perfect. The outfield, I think, could do with a little bit of work outside of Aaron Judge. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll get into the season a little ways here, and we might come back for this game against the bin lids. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how uh, how we're getting on there. Um, so that'll be all for next time. Of course, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 9.30 p.m. British Summer Time, which I believe is 4.30 p.m. on the East Coast. Um, so sort of work out your time zone from there. But until next time, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.